Hey y'all, welcome to the Punk Girl Prairie. Now it's kind of a cool damn day here, but as soon as I finish getting this board carved up so my sweet baby's mama friend can paint a nice beach scene on it, I'm going to whip up a pot of Grandpa Ballet's world famous pasta azul. And I'm going to show y'all how to make it too. So don't go nowhere, because you don't want to miss this. Moon hits you, I like a big pizza pie at some old ray. When the stars make you drool like a pasta vazoo, you're in love. And in love is exactly what you're gonna be with my grandpa Ballet's pasta vazoo. Now let me tell you about what we got going in our pasta vazoo. Now for our main ingredient, we got about a pound of these nice dried Great Northern beans. Now I know it's more keeping with tradition to use a dried cannellini bean, but they're harder to come by here in the United States. That's why we're going with the Great Northerns. Besides, if they were good enough for Grandpa Ballet, they're good enough for me. We got some smoked ham hocks, or as Grandpa Ballet used to call them, pig's knuckles. We got some diced up pancetta. A 28 ounce can of rustic cut diced tomatoes with the juice, a yellow onion, a few carrots, some garlic cloves, some spring onion, some celery we're going to dice up and put in there, and because I have it, a little bit of parsley. And for the pasta, Grandpa used to always use elbow macaroni, but today I'm going with the dadalini. Now you know we got to have a little color going on. And right there towards the end of the cooking time, I like to put in a little bit of this garden fresh spinach. And of course, when we get ready to serve it, for a little added flavor and garnish, we're going to chiffonade up some of these fresh basil leaves. Now I soaked our pound of beans in a pot covered with about two inches of water overnight. Now we're going to take our pot over to the sink here and drain them in a column. Give them a little shake. Now the first thing I'm going to do is take about two or three tablespoons of olive oil and put it in this pot here we had our beans in. And heat it up till we get a nice shimmer going on it. And add our four ounces of diced up pancetta. And stir it around in there. Just get a little bit of golden brown going on it. Not too much. It ain't like you're frying up bacon. Now we're just going to dice up our onion. Give our garlic a little whack. Peel and come right on off of there. Dice our garlic up nice and fine. Dice up our celery. Peel up our carrots. Dice them up. In goes our garlic and onions and our diced up celery and carrots. Give all that a little stir around in there. Now goes our smoked pig's knuckles. Our diced tomatoes, we'll add a little stir around, and in goes our beans. Give the beans a little toss in here, and our liquid from our tomatoes. Now about seven or eight cups of water, whatever it takes to fill up our pot. Just stir that water around in there, get everything mixed up nice and even. All that pancetta and the beans and the celery and the garlic and the onions turn the heat up on it now right here I'm gonna take a big old dollop of this chicken base and stir that in put a lid on it now once we got a nice boil going on it we're going to adjust the heat on my slow cooker here place our pot right down on top now we're going to add a little herbal seasoning a sprig of fresh rosemary, a couple of bay leaves, we got a teaspoon of dry thyme because I don't have any fresh, and then our parsley, about two tablespoons. Stir that right in a little bit, put a lid on it, adjust our heat down, Now we're just going to let our pasta azul simmer there on that wood stove for about an hour and a half to two hours till those beans get nice and tender. Now it don't happen often, but that cool damp turned into a full-blown blizzard here on the Pungo Prairie. 
that it's a perfect day for that pot of pasta of azul to be in there simmering on the wood stove in the Pungo Prairie Saloon. I'm going to go in the studio and see how that beach scene's coming along. Y'all thought I was kidding about that beautiful beach scene. Now it's been about a couple of hours. Come over here to our pot. And we're just gonna pull those ham hocks out of there. That have been all cooking up nice and tender. One more. Set our ham hocks over here. And just pull off all that nice tender meat in there and get all of it out of there we can and we're just going to dice up our spring onions here and we're going to take our spring onions stir them in there and our nice fresh spinach leaves and add them in there turn them all down in there nice and just kind of cut all our meat up in little pieces here so we got plenty to go around and add it back to our pot. And that is a kaleidoscope of flavor right there now. Now I added just a wee bit of salt and a little bit of olive oil to this little pot here full of water we got boiling up. And we're going to add our dadarini. And we're just going to cook it up to a nice firm al dente. Now while our dadarini pasta is cooking, we're going to take a few of these fresh basil leaves Stack them in a nice little pile, roll them up, and just chiffonade them into nice little thin strips. Ain't that pretty? Now we're just going to dish up a little bit of our pasta azul here into this little bowl. Get some of that spinach. Now we're just going to dip up a little of our dadalini here with this perforated spoon, let it drain off, and ladle it into our bowl. Give that a little toss in there. A little bit more pasta azul. A few of our chiffonated up basil leaves. Give that a little toss. And take some of this nice Parmesan cheese and grate it right over top. A couple of grinds of fresh black pepper. Now you know I had to do this because Grandpa's pasta azul was just a begging for Pungo Prairie Artisan Bull. Now is that pretty or what? Slice off a nice piece of our artisan bull here. Dear Lord, thank you for my Italian heritage and that we live in a country of such diversity of culture and color that even a country boy like me living at the end of a little dirt lane has roots from a faraway land that can sprout up such deliciousness as this. Bless this meal now to nourish our bodies and strengthen our spirits for a life in thee, through Jesus we pray, amen. Now you know I've been dying to dive into this. Mm. Now I'm gonna tell you something. That's a pasta of azul that will make you drool. Now that's Italian. And that, girls and boys, is what's cooking on the Pungo Prairie. Thank you, Grandpa Bullet.
Rodrigo.